Hey, physics and or math enthusiasts. Welcome to the Physics Tutor if you are new to this channel. If not, welcome back. And of course, thanks for revisiting. Today, we have another important video for you. We will talk about a fascinating concept of average of a physical quantity. More specifically, the average of two different speeds. As you know, speed is a scalar quantity and is just its magnitude, with no direction, but both distance and time are involved with it. Does it sound complicated already? Trust me, it's not as daunting as it sounds or seems. As usual, we recommend you pause this video here and try to solve the problem if you can. You can set your timer for a minute or whatever you think you'd need. If you think you just want to know how, please continue watching it. We will solve the problems and show you step by step. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's build a community where physics and or math becomes your superpower. All right, imagine your face with this type of problem. What comes to your brain? This is not hard at all, or easy, or okay, or it's too hard. Well, as you see, it is about taking the average of two numbers, correct? If you do not know what it means, don't worry, we will cover that too. If you know what it means, you can skip to the problem-solving steps. However, keep in mind that if you are thinking your answer is 4 meters per second, that is from adding 5 and 3 and dividing by 2, you're probably missing some important concepts of the problem. So I'd suggest you please watch the whole video. You can see the problem-solving strategy step-by-step, step, where we break down the problems into manageable chunks. And, of course, as I often say, there can be more than just one way to solve it, just like any physics or math problem. And this is not an exception. If you know one way or find one easier than the other, please let us know. Now, let's solve it. Speed is distance divided by time, or the ratio of distance traveled to time taken, correct? So, the average speed comes with both average distance by average time for the entire trip. Does it make sense? The entire trip here represents a round trip that is from A to B and B to a back to the starting point. What this means is that the distance is the same both ways. And you read the question carefully. The speed one way, say from A to B, is given and is different when she returns. This means that the time Kristen takes to travel the same distance is different because of different speeds. So far, we know the total distance, which is equal to 2d, one-way d distance. Total time can be estimated from speed equations v equals to d divided by t, more specifically, t1 and t2 for round trip. t1, when Kristen goes from a to b equals to d divided by vun. And T2 equals to D divided by V2 when she returns. Then solving for total time, which is equal to T1 plus T2 equals to D divided by V1 plus D divided by V2. Both V1 and V2 are given, where D can be assumed any number or leave it as is. Now, V average equals to total distance divided by the total time. V average equals 2 times V1 times V2 divided by V1 plus V2. On substituting the numbers or variables, we get a number as D cancels out both on the numerator and denominator. Done! This is all you need to know. However, you can double check the validity of this equation for the V average by taking the same values 3 meters per second or 5 meters per second. Example, special case. When both ways V equals to 5, then V average equals to 2 times 5 times 5 divided by 5 plus 5, which equals to 5 meters per second. Great! The average is the same as each way. That makes sense, right? Now, I want to hear from you. Please drop a comment below if you have any questions or need any additional information about the steps or the physics concepts in general. Also, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Your support means the world to me and it keeps this channel going. Remember, every problem is an opportunity to learn. Stay curious, stay positive, and I'll catch you in the next video. Keep those physics and math vibes strong.